Hello everybody. In this mini-series I'm going to cover some of the PyMonk's functionalities. So what is PyMonk? PyMonk is a Python wrapper around the Chipmunk uh, physics engine which is written in C. So please go to pymonk.org and just read through these uh, informations and you you have here a link to Chipmunk. So here is Chipmunk's website. So as you see, Chipmunk's, Chipmunk 7 is used by several games in, and game engines. So it's a fairly popular uh, physics engine. So go back and as you see the latest release of PyMonk is 5.3.2 uh, which is based on Chipmunk 7. So first of all I'm going to use PyMonk with Pyglet. And in this video I'm just going to create a basic simula simulation without any any uh, window. So first of all, go to your terminal or command or prompt or PowerShell window and just install install uh, PyMonk. So pip install PyMonk. So okay, pip installed PyMonk and uh, I'm using a separate virtual environment and uh, here is that environment. So I mean, if I'm going to lib site packages, now I have here, yes, PyMonk. So as you see, here is the Chipmunk dynamic link library file. So Python, uh, as I said, PyMonk is a wrapper around the Chipmunk, so PyMonk um, makes calls into this DLL file. So under the hood, uh, the simulation runs on in 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 C in the C language. So I'm going to use. PyCharm and I already set up the PyCharm to use the virtual environment where I installed the PyMonk library so let's just import it so import PyMonk and now run it so as you see it loads the chipmunk for Windows 32 bit and here is the path to the DLL file to the chipmunk.dll dynamic link library file. So if you can import PyMonk it means that uh, you successfully installed it. So let's create a basic space. <coughs> So space equals pymonk dot space. Uh, I mean space. Okay. And let us take a look here in the overview on pymonk.org. Overview. Here is pymonk space. So Spaces are the basic simulation unit in PyMonk. You add bodies, shapes and joint to a space and then update the space as a whole. They control how all the rigid bodies, shapes and constraints interact together. The actual simulation is done by the space. After adding the objects, objects uh, that should be simulated to the space, Time is moved forward in small steps with the space uh, PyMonk the space that step function. Okay, so let's 
so this is the space the this is where all the simulations are calculated so let's set the space gravity gravity yeah to zero on x and negative one thousand on y and now let's create a body a physics body so pymunk dot body mm -hmm. and it needs a mass so I'm, I'm going to give it one and the second value is the so-called uh, moment of inertia and I'm just going to give it this value and I'm going to talk uh, about these things a little bit uh, in the upcoming videos so let's take a look what is a body so here it is rigid body spymunk body a rigid body holds the physical properties of, of an object mass position rotation velocity etc it does not have a shape by itself so in the next video or probably in the next video we are going to create a shape for our body so if you have done physics with particles before rigid bodies differ mostly in that they are able to rotate rigid bodies generally tend to have one-to-one -one correlation to sprites in a game you should st structure your game so that you use the position and rotation of the rigid body for a for drawing your sprite okay so now let's set the body's position body position and uh, let's set it equal to on x 50 and on y 100 and now add this body to the space to actually calculate uh, physics on it uh, i mean Space that add yes the body so now the body is added to the space now we need an, a loop a while loop or if you are going to use uh, some other application like uh, pygame or piglet we are going to use piglet in the next video this will be our main application loop but for now I'm going to just create a while true oops an endless loop where I'm going to step through the uh, space the step and give it a small value and I'm going to give it a 0 0.02 which is about um, 1 over 50 so 50 frames per second and let's print how this body position changes so run it and now as you see the x value doesn't change but the y value gets uh, smaller and smaller so it decreases uh, falls down and if you want to slow it down a little bit just import time import time and here in the while true loop i'm going to give it some sleep so let's say every 0.5 seconds so it will run it will stop the execution for 0.5 seconds and it will run again so now it's better so it started at 100 and it gets smaller and small so decreases this y, y value and of course as you see it accelerates downwards so here from 100 it went uh, to 99.6 but here from 78 it went down to 73.6 
So it it just this body is accelerating accelerating downwards. So in the next video I'm going to install Pilot to this uh, virtual environment and and uh, we are going to use the Pilot uh, or not Pilot but uh, Pymax draw debug draw options to actually see uh, the body on our window how it falls down